Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about WeatherXM. WeatherXM is a D-PIN project, a decentralized physical network, and it's a community-powered weather network that rewards weather station owners and provides accurate weather services to individuals, businesses, and research organizations. I recently installed my WeatherXM station about a week ago, and as you can see, it's up there doing its thing in all of its glory and I'll get more into the setup process in a bit. I received this Weather XM from Helium Deploy. If you're not familiar with Helium Deploy, they've been around for a while supporting all things Helium for the last few years. I've used a few of their services and been happy with all of them so far. The one aspect that has impressed me the most is their assessment tool. So you can go, uh, I'll actually share the link, I'll put it in the description and I will also pin it in the comments field. And this estimator tool does a live assessment for your WeatherXM project, as well as a few other projects, DPEN projects. And it's connected to an API of each DPEN project and gives you live updates of which project is right for you. Uh, it'll give you access to insights, video explainer, and webinars. A live support through SMS, and all you do is have to take a simple quiz to see if you qualify. So be sure to check out that link. It will definitely save you a lot of time and provide valuable insight on which DPIN projects would work the best for you. WeatherXM recently went live on their main net. They were on a test net for quite a while. I didn't get involved in that beta uh, time frame, unfortunately, but I am involved with them now. And they are on the Arbitron 1, which is an L2 on the Ethereum network. There are less than 5,000 WeatherXM stations that are live at the moment, most of them being in North America and in Europe. So as far as a DPIN project, it's still very early. So just like many other DPIN projects, by providing coverage, by having one of these stations in your home or other location, you get rewarded with a WXM token. The return on investment is probably about five months from my calculation with what I'm earning over the last week since I've been live, and I'll share that info with you soon. Now with the ROI being about five months, as I just mentioned, I find that to be pretty good, and that's if the price of the WXM coin stays the same. Now obviously if it does go up, that return on investment will be much quicker. Keep in mind this isn't financial advice, I'm just sharing what I'm doing with you, and uh, hopefully you can take that information and uh, make it work for you. And remember, there's always the flip side. If the WXM coin does go down, then your ROI will take that much longer. But I'm seeing some good things in the present as well as the near future for WeatherXM. So, fingers are crossed. This is still a very young project. Many unknown factors out there. Be sure that you do your due diligence before you invest your time in this or any other project. Currently, WeatherXM offers three different choices as far as their weather station models and there's different pricing once again for those models so the options are wi-fi 4g or utilizing the helium network the weather station that i have is powered by the helium network so that's what i'm going to be talking about for the rest of this video i've been working with the helium network for a few years now i've been seeing it grow and when i see projects like this weather xm it certainly gets me excited for not only the present but the immediate future. The Helium Network has worldwide coverage, but be sure to go ahead and check the coverage map just to make sure that you do have that in your area if the Helium-powered WeatherXM is the station that you choose to deploy. So let's get into the setup of the WeatherXM. Uh, to begin with, out of all the deep end work that I've done and uh, even other hotspots and miners, this WeatherXM station has been the most simple when it comes to setup. So if you have any kind of fear with uh, it might be too too techy for me or too much technology involved or it's above my pay grade or any of those uh, scenarios, you won't have to worry about that with WeatherXM. Right from the unboxing, there's a sheet in there with the QR code. Scan that QR code with your phone to get started. And there are simple, easy to understand step-by-step -step directions to get your WeatherXM station set up in probably 30 minutes or less. And that includes looking for locations, attaching a pole if needed, all of that good stuff. Just keep in mind for this helium powered weather XM, you will need six AA batteries, you will need a mount, and you will need a pole. Once again, the mount and the pole depends on where you are planning on installing your weather XM station. I opted to install it 
on the roof. The recommendations are six and a half feet minimum from any surface or from the ground, if that's where you plan on attaching it. You wanna keep away from shadows. You wanna keep away from walls because any of those factors obviously are gonna give you false readings. And with this station, you wanna be as accurate as possible, not only because of the data that you're going to be gathering, but also to maximize your token earning experience. Another thing that I want you to keep in mind is that when you are choosing your setup location and how you are going to install this weather station, the spec sheets say that most likely every three months the weather station itself should be clean just in case any twigs or leaves or anything kind of get caught in there. They're going to affect obviously your readings and there's also a small little solar panel that charges the weather station obviously when it's sunny during the day and then it relies on the six AA batteries when that solar panel is not in use. But that little solar panel also gets dirty and grimy and all sorts of stuff so once again that needs to be wiped down every once in a while. Maintenance and changing batteries so you're going to have to access this weather station. Once again, changing the batteries, they say possibly every one to two years. Okay, so that's not too bad at all. But now once again, cleaning it every three months to get those accurate readings approximately. You wanna make sure that you set it up so it's as easy as possible to gain access to the weather station. And another main point to keep in mind during installation is that the station needs to be oriented to north. There is an N on the actual weather station that needs to be pointed to north. You can use a regular compass, download an app that's a compass in order to get the proper bearings to make sure that you know where north is and have that end pointing towards north. There is also a small level on the weather station to make sure that the station is level during installation. Now, once again, all of this will be repeated and outlined for you during the setup process. Once you scan that QR code, download the WeatherXM app. It'll walk you through it. Uh, once again, let's take out the part of getting up on a ladder, mounting the mount, the pole, things of that nature. But there's a lot of people that'll just uh, set it up in their backyard. They don't even go onto a roof or need a ladder. Getting into the app, as you can tell here, under observations, you'll have the temperature, wind gust, pressure, dew point, UV index, solar radiation, all sorts of information that once again is very pertinent uh, not only that you might need it just for your own uh, purposes at home, but for agriculture, for livestock, for outdoor events. This information is very critical for those industries. So being able to have access to one of these stations that is as close as possible to the location where you need that data from, that's the niche that WeatherXM is filling here. Well, as I mentioned, it's been about a week. I've earned uh, 22.92 WXM tokens. And with today's price, that's where I actually got the five months or so in order to recoup and get your return on investment. And you could tell with these earnings, I'm not buying any uh, Lamborghinis here or anything like that anytime soon. But as far as your return on investment, five months or hopefully a little bit less, that's certainly something I could get behind. And under your daily rewards, if you could see there, if you click on view rewards detail, it'll tell you if there's any minor data gaps, like I have one here. Uh, base rewards is telling me that the data quality is almost perfect, is at 97%. So obviously that did affect my earnings here for that daily reward. So always make sure that your location is good, your cell ranking is good. I don't see any issues with my setup, but you know, who knows, uh, maybe the Helium router or the Helium hotspot itself might have had a hiccup. My internet might have gone down for a couple minutes. I'm not really that worried about it since my uh, data quality is still at 97%. So as I mentioned earlier, uh, this is a new project. Uh, tokenomics, burn rate, things like that. I haven't really seen too much information out there about it. Now keep in mind, you're also going to need uh, a wallet. You're gonna have to provide that information right during the setup process. And since it's Arbitron 1 running on Ethereum, MetaMask would be the go-to choice for your wallet. So be sure that you have that address set up. There's a bunch of other tutorials on there on getting that done. If you do see that you're having some trouble, you can go ahead and comment and I will try and put something together for you. But I think you'll find more than enough information out there on how to set up your MetaMask for WeatherXM. Keep in mind that you will need to create a wallet, an Ethereum wallet. Once again, it's running under Arbitron 1, which is the L2 on Ethereum. So utilizing MetaMask and being able to set that up on the WXM website, there is a thorough 
walkthrough on being able to set up your MetaMask so that when you do earn these WXM rewards, they are going into your wallet. So bottom line, if you're interested in Deepin projects, especially powered by the Helium network and looking for some real use cases that are pretty cool, practical, and provide a, a niche and information and data that is really and truly needed, definitely take a closer look at WeatherXM.